All right. Um, so let's get into Vigo's uh, build. And before we get to that, uh, something about the Clever that I think is important for people to understand. Um, you know, she's a fast destroyer. Um, she takes, she gets saturated very quickly. And what that means is um, when she gets saturated quickly, she takes less damage from subsequent shell hits. So the French destroyer line is something like uh, they get a hit and then they get hit and they get a hit and they get a hit and, they, and you're just like, come on, why don't you die? Um, good ballistics with their guns, 139 millimeters. So that the highest, the highest caliber for destroyer guns, really. Um, nine kilometer torpedoes and she's very fast. Did I miss anything, Grunty? I don't think I did. Oh, French damage saturation, consumable. No, I think okay. that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very, very good firing was on the guns. Right. Um, Rice Tails Club is eight kilometer. If you're talking about torpedoes, no, nine kilometer. French torpedoes are nines. I don't know if she is 8 kilometer. What? What? Really? I could have sworn she was 9. Okay. Oh, apologies if I screwed that up. Marceau? Yeah, see, that's... That's what's confusing me. Marceau's 9. Okay, anyway. Um, let's talk about your build then, Big O. You've gone for main armaments mod, engine boost, aiming systems, propulsion, concealment... And main battery, all of that makes perfect sense. And your consumables, main battery reload booster, engine boost, and DCP. Uh, now, Bigo's not here to tell us if there's a special captain with this or not. But you can see that if he's running on a ray, he gets a buffed adrenaline rush. And if he's running up on you, he gets a buffed survivability expert. Personally, I would probably run up on you on the French destroyers because up on you gets that special um, talent. That procs every time you cap a, a capture point, you gain an extra 1% on your fire chance. That's kind of nice. Um, Captain skills, preventive maintenance, last stand, main battery, concealment, superintendent, survivability, adrenaline rush. Okay. From here, where would you go? I, might... I would not take superintendent whatsoever on this ship. Superintendent and... gives you one extra main battery load booster, one extra engine boost. It's not as effective. You don't have a heal. So if I you would... were to drop superintendent, I was going to mention brawler. the same thing. Fearless brawler could work, or I might go for my my range. One of these two is fine. Fearless Brawler, maybe and Grease the Gears. Here's the recommended farm build for the Clever. Dropping concealment. Yep. Going range. It makes yep. perfect sense. It's probably what I would play. I do like the Grease the Gears, though. Like, the turret's not the fastest. Agreed. But... It but incoming fire alert is okay too because the ship can dodge it when it's shot at. Pirates! I, 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 I don't like the concealment on this ship because the concealment is not good. Like I would honestly completely forgo it, even on the module, and take the rudder shift there. Mm -hmm. But that's it's ultra farm build. I would agree. Uh, the Clever is an example. But I think example. that's the only ship. The ship is really good at still farming. Like when when they nerfed it with the concealment, it lost a lot of the ambush potential because it just can't get as close anymore as it wants to. The only way you can ambush is uh, through islands and that sort of thing. Now I would agree. Um, so the thing about concealment is, unless you've got really 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 good concealment and guys with 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 the module and the captain skill. 7.76 at tier 10 is really not good. Um, you run into a situation where you could get too deep into the enemy before you get spotted. 
and then you're screwed. So some people actually don't like to use concealment because what that does is they get detected earlier, they know if they're in trouble earlier, and they can try to get the heck out. So then I would go for this for just a true farm build. Like I would play my Marceau for concealment and the Kleber for range. Yeah, you can do that. If mm -hmm. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, signal flags, anti-debt, ramming, fire chance, fire chance, flood chance, engine speed. You're not running uh, consumables, but that would absolutely help. Fire reduction would help too. All right, let's get to your replay. Action station. Uh, I just woke up in time then. <laughs> woke up? You took a nap? Okay, then. Here I am, busting my butt for all you, and you're taking a nap. Super ship matchmaking, stealthy Jaeger, a carrier. Lots of yeah. battleships to farm, though. It's not the worst. Now, Big O is known for YOLOs. I have a feeling we're going to see a couple here. Here's the thing though, what we didn't mention, if you like YOLOs and ambushes like this, mm -hmm. I think playing Legendary Mod Kleber is not the worst thing you can do. I was gonna like, your mention gun that. DPM gets absolutely horrible, but you get the concealment, you can play it a little bit more as a tour boat with ambushes there. And uh, you still can use the reload boost to get a somewhat acceptable damage for at least like 15 seconds. And if you're going to do that, you might as well go all in and take Swift in silence as well. Makes the guns even worse, but yeah. you could. Yeah, I've been farming Mogador I... be recently, okay? Terribly was okay, Mogador's been fine, we're going to get clipped, got it. I think the spreadsheet oh, for the document even has a legendary mod clever build. Well, let's see what you choose to do. You've got a card no in front of you. And it's it, okay. Big O has like, already locked him in as the next target, first target. I, mean, I think this is way too aggressive. It's very aggressive like, because look, there's like, a Delarno. What if that is, yeah, I was like to say, what about if this is not only the Carno? The Carno, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're also shooting AP at it, that just gets over pants. Yeah, I realized that after I started firing AP at him. Torpedoes, astern. Um, I'd be l launching AP into the car. No, here. Solved, it looks like you're just trying to back off here. Mm-hmm. Okay. You are kind of lucky in the sense that the Dalana didn't realize yet you had no backup. Yeah. Well, he does say if he's he got went Napoli. aggressive at you together with the Colonel, yeah, but the Napoli was still stuck behind an island, unable to shoot for like 30 seconds. One torpedo? No. No, that was close. Enemy so then you decided to shoot him anyway, because you're upset he didn't hit your torpedo. Mm. Mm. The Napoli's uh, in-game name is Flamethrower. Interesting. I don't think that's gonna work out well in Napoli. Tomb Raiders is ready, so we'll go ahead and uh, run that. But yeah, if you had the range, like you could farm here. Mm-hmm. You could absolutely farm the mech. I like how you're taunting it now. Fight me. <laughs> Carnos has become as a pair. Are they divisioned? No, they are not. Okay. 
Oh, Izumo. You could absolutely farm them Izumo. I don't think I did much farming. I think I did more ambushes than I did farming in this. This is not a build you can farm with. No. Like, quite frankly. Junon. AP into his broadside? Yes, please. Torpedoes astern. Switched. Arno's not going to charge you. Um, by the way, Big O, are you playing with a unique uh, captain? Mm -mm. No, just stand. Okay. That was a great battle. Okay, because we had highlighted how um, Abanu and Honore are, are both useful. Uh, you're going to go for the Janan, aren't you? I can already see it. You got <laughs> your shotgun armed and ready to go. You don't even care to slow down and take the cap. You're just like, I'm getting through here. Well, you thought about it too late. Engine boost deactivated. I have heavy risk right now because your engine boost is off, by the way. Uh, Janan's on the other side. I would beach here, actually, and just stop. No, oh, you know me, there's no stopping. I understand. I'm just saying, as soon as you come around this corner, unless a Janan is sitting in his own smoke. Um, he's sitting in his own smoke. Well. Well. You get to spot him. A little early on your use of the reload booster, I would have waited till all your, your shells were on target. Because you don't have a lot of time here. Yeah, doesn't you, matter. You, pop, you popped it and didn't shoot for like seven seconds. Right. Like, you the <laughs> how you use it is like you shoot and then you pop it. Right. Mm. In this case, it didn't hurt you because the Janan is made of paper and you absolutely destroyed him. So good job. Now you can use a smoke to uh, protect you, so you can just shoot the Carno for free. I'd stop here and. Pitch a tent. But you're actually right outside the smoke screen, so, um. Okay. I was trying to get in, but I guess I didn't. You were literally right on that edge of the smoke screen. But this hey. also told me something else. I'll let you think about it. Huh? I mean, the destroyer is probably still sitting in like H1 or so and went AFK. <clears throat> because I think the destroyer is what spotted you there. I think so too. Um, Alright, well, next stream Raiders is up and running if people want to help out. And Tatsuma, you can absolutely farm. It's a, it's a very, very weird Dalana, by the way, because I haven't seen any dwarfs being thrown out except for the first ones. Which is why I said I think he's AFK. Yeah. Are you expecting the Dalarna to be more aggressive? I expect the Dalarna oh, to throw out torps every 70 seconds. Time out, time out, time out. Did you just not see that torpedo salvo? The Dalarna is north of you. Oh, I did God. see it. That's why I turned turn around after this. And your Nakimov is right there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do, would you like to revisit your statement, Grunty? I mean, uh, <laughs> name a more iconic duel, right? Torpedo destroyers and flanking. <laughs> somehow. He didn't throw out any torps for a long time, though. No. So somehow he managed to get behind. Well, that was probably while Big O was in the A cap. Wow. Okay. Big O, I do like your attempt to warn your teammate carrier. Uh, although, I don't like your turning to the right here. I think you just need to head straight north. 
yeah, there there is no there is no chance the destroyer is actually on the right side because between you and the Nakimov he would be spotted if he was there. Yep. So he gotta be somewhere like C2 maybe now. Yep, exactly. So I you turning right is gonna slow you down. I tried to tell CV to spam him, but Yeah, I mean look at the CV's position, he's dead anyway. And now he's panicking. Right in front of a Setsuma, he's gonna turn broadside. Good luck, buddy. That's always a smart idea. Yeah. Negative. But you're you're wasting a lot of time turning right here. I I honestly think just head to A1. Yeah, I think also your guns should be turned to the left side, not to mm -hmm. the right. You're detected I now? This is... Big O is being a team player. Grunty, do you see this? There he is. Reload boost? I would have waited on it. Wait till he DCPs. Get him on a sticky fire, and then he can't go dark. I would have just waited to get a better angle. Like, if you shoot him right from behind, most of that's your shells too. are gonna miss. Hey, so... that's why he takes Superintendent. He gets one extra use of this consumable. He's fine. Yeah, I think having a 10% better reload all the time would be more beneficial than the extra reload booster, but... By the way, I would absolutely just go straight at him. I wouldn't even bother turning to use a rear turret. Turrets. Sorry. Either way, you get him killed, which is the key part here. Terrible, okay. terrible decision by that Alana. And he didn't even get the CV. No, he got he got most of the CV. He got most of the Montana. So, oh well. Affirmative. He did get the carrier. Oof. The reason I kept going red, I was trying to scream for Torch to see which way he would be coming from. I, I get the idea of stream, screening for Torps, it's just... I'm generally know. surprised how these torpedoes got past without getting spotted. The detection mm -hmm. range of the of the torpedoes on the European destroyers is not that good. Yeah. All right, what if? Which, by the way, you would have probably spotted them if you went straight at him and, like, have them shooting to the left side and not to the right, as I said earlier. Right, because shooting to your right, you're forced to go farther left. If you had been shooting to the left and head farther right, you probably would have run over those torpedoes. So. On the designated target. Does it matter? I don't know. The Nakimov is a carrier, so he's on. It, it matters a little bit in that sense that by him going more towards the left side, he's taking himself out of the battle for longer because he oh, has a yeah. long distance to make getting back in the battle. I mean, I agree. I, I really felt like he wasted some time turning as much as he did. I commented on that a couple of times, so whatever. Still, so, you are ahead on points. Their Nakimon is quite low. Shimakaze looks like he's going to try to kill him. I can't tell what, what uh, torp range you got. Patton, have room for a clan battle replay. Really fun one. I mean, I don't care. I got an hour and a half left, so probably three more replays left. Nobody has used a cover my replay. Nobody has used a, uh, a sub replay redemption other than big o right now so uh you want to force the replay that's fine Patton.
Izumo Smolensk. Smolensk is a concern. That's how it's done. This is like the same we had earlier. Wait. You should have waited until crossing this channel until all your guns are actually ready to fire. Wait, Smolensk is sitting inside the cap? Okay, well, bye bye, Smolensk. The ship is on fire. Enemy cruiser destroyed. Wow. Problem solved, sir. Yeet. You are so lucky. I would go right into a smoke, turn my guns right, switch to AG, and wait. Get the cap? If that's more lens set in there, better angled, you're probably yeah. dead. Shimikaze does manage to use his guns on the knocking off, dies, but now there's no carriers, so that's good. I think that was kind of an unnecessary risk you took there. I mean, in a club air, I wouldn't charge a Smolensk. Unless I knew he was in smoke. If I knew he was in smoke, maybe I would. But Even then, like if he if if he's bow on to you, he's right. gonna murder you. Like, right. You, you can't see the tell him from the front. Right. I know. And I mean, he's gonna kill I you agree. quickly. <laughs> Well, you're going straight in. There's a Montana way north of sea. Honestly, he doesn't matter at this point. Concentrate I wouldn't even shoot at him. Concentrate fire Isn't he low? Target. Oh, no, he's not. Half. Okay, no, I, so, yeah, I, I agree that. I thought he was low, but that was a different ship I was looking at. I'd be turning southward uh, to then loop back to B after this. I told him to. Oh, you turn north, but okay. You you can oh. maybe get a set of torpedoes in the path of the Monty without getting spotted. Because he has to come in, right? Mm -hmm. So, oh, there it is. Ah, Stevie is coming back. He's sitting right next to me in the chair. He's waiting for me to pick him up. Give me a sec, guys. This kind of sucks because I have to go pee. <laughs> Torpedoes to starboard. Torpedoes dead ahead. There he is. Torpedoes You're actually going to hit him with a torp? I don't know that I would have opened up there because you just basically announced your position to everybody. Um, oh, hello, Jaeger. Yeah, that opening up was... I mean, you're not even going to get a fire because you just got the flooding, he's going to DCP it anyway. Spending a lot of time focusing on the shots on the Jaeger and less time on survival. At this point in the game, survival is more important. Well done, Commander. Well done, Commander. Well, Satsuma kills the Jaeger. Now you can actually farm the Montana a little bit? Well, the not. other way around. Skillful fun and engagement play right here. You got the torps okay. already on the other you got the torps already on the other side. Plus Shima's in the sea really cap. You're messing up your Dalian here. Yeah, it's okay. Time extension. But still, it's still full fun and engagement. Play. There's Shima. Guns, 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 guns. Uh. Engine boost You're gonna activated. Get it. Yes! You're gonna get it, it's our first death pick of the day. Oh, look at look at that breach in your hole there. You got you got splitted. <laughs> Split in half. Yes. Oh, 
I mean, overall, it wasn't a bad game. No, it wasn't. Um, I can't believe that you took out that, uh, what was this, a jog or whatever? Like, that was ridiculous. Yeah, the Gina and the small ends charging yeah. both of them in smoke is like... It's not a play I would make. It's very, very risky. You got away with it twice. Yeah. That looks fun. That looks fun. All right, good enough. <coughs> and he said, sorry, Shiki. I meant Setsuma. Okay. I get the two mixed up. They're basically so, the same ship. Setsuma has one extra turret. So it's the Satsuma versus the Shimikaze now. But he's okay. smart. He just he turns and runs. That's exactly what he should do. And I like how he says running. Fast forward here. Our victory is yeah, the Shime also just blew all his torps. Like, I don't even think he has it ready. So. Yeah. Uh, all right. So let's take a look at your in battle screens. 117,000 damage, 151, I mean, battery hits, 3 kills. Not too bad. First place. I was actually surprised to learn that Club Air and Citadel Cruisers. Oh, it absolutely can. That's the whole point. The 139s are, are really designed to Citadel Cruisers, actually. Especially like super light ones like the Janan and the Smolensk. Those two were, frankly, they were gifts for you, my dude. Apparently, you can do Stalingrad. Was it Stalingrad or Moscow? Uh, one of the two? The yes. Jinan was close a, enough. The Jinan was a pure gift. Like, I don't even know why he smoked up there. Right. Like, the Smolensk sitting in the smoke in the cap, I, I can understand. Uh, it was just. Lucky for you that he was angled the way he was angled. Right. Because <laughs> I was going to say, in, an, in another match with Clover, I caught a either Stalingrad or Moscow broadside, popped mm. a reload booster, mm -hmm. 19 citadels, and he was dead. Jeez. I'm just amazed you were able to YOLO things with your guns. I expect you to YOLO things with your torpedoes. That didn't really happen this game. It's more just yellowing cruisers with your guns. Which is not something I would do in this current map. Like, right. It was a nice matchmaking for you with less hydro. There was no radar on them that to stop you from doing stuff like this. But it's it's basically the old pre nerf playstyle of a clever that you managed to pull off in this game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I'll title this one Yellow Guns. Okay. Why is the was... Jaeger in a gunfight with the Petropavlovsk in Louisiana? That's know, he... odd. Was he radared? I don't think so. Maybe. How about run and gun? You didn't run and gun in this game at all. Except Yeager for has... that and you chase down the, the destroyer. He has a heart <laughs> of a Ragnar, yeah. Alright, here you go chasing down to the Dalarna. Like it said, um, maybe a little bit inefficient there. You didn't detect the torps because you were heading the wrong direction. Honestly, it's okay, because maybe you would have taken a torp and died from that. Maybe. And that must have been close to spotting these torpedoes, though. Very close, I'm sure. Stevie, let me get this uh, not audio, right? There we go. Got it. Oh, it was the sumo hit points there that I saw that were low for oh, some pause reason. Pause it, pause, pause it, pause it for a second. Pause it. 
What are we pausing it for? Oh, I was gonna say, I was expecting Izuma to to just slap the Dalian there at B. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So when I was going in, I was just gonna try to yellow rush the uh, Izuma and the Smolensk. Okay, so that was your you, original you thought. Pretty, you pretty much never want to yellow rush a Smolensk. That's not gonna yeah. end well for you. Especially if he's got Hydro on. <laughs> But he didn't, for whatever reason. He had the hydro. He he turned he? it on too late. Okay. I think he was he hydro. On too late. He, like at, at like four kilometer distance or so, he turned on the hydro. Or like he was shooting the Dalian and got spotted while shooting, and then he turned on the hydro. Huh. But yeah. yeah, it was way yeah, too was, late. Yeah. And his angling was bad. Like again, if if he's bow okay. onto you, you just die there. Right. A miserable death. <laughs> and then, who knows if you even win the game. Well, that's the thing about random battles. You just never know what the opponent is going to do. Well, it was a good game nonetheless. Uh, pretty Better crazy. To wait out this one. So you can just throw in your sixteen torps. Oh, not sorry, your twelve torps into the smoke of the Smolensk, mm-hmm. and that might force him out of the smoke. Or if right. he indeed is not running the hydro as he wasn't to begin with, he might just take them. Right. He might be reminded he's got hydro by your torps. Right. Mm-hmm. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. I mean, either way, by the time he turned it on, it was too late for him. I had spotted him. Yep, I it was. I had AP going, I had AP loaded, and he was angled enough where I could sit it on. Right. Okay. Well, thank you for sending that replay in, Big O. It was fun to look at. Definitely stuff that I'm not used to seeing. <laughs> 